this is the Red Cat Everest Gen 7 Pro Body. And what makes the crawler inexpensive is the way in which Red Cat finds ways to save money. And one of the ways they save money is they put a window decal on these windows and they spray paint the body so they don't tape off the windows so you don't have clear windows. So if you pull the stickers off the windows you have the painted body. And what I'm going to show in this video is how you can open those windows up. Now what you're seeing here is actually the window as it's been treated. The way we do this is you tape the windows off with masking tape and you use um, acetone or xylol to remove the paint back to the clear Lexan. Now acetone uh, will etch the Lexan a little bit and it creates a cloudy effect so you can see that the window is clear but it's not glass clear and that's the result of the acetone. Uh, the thing is is that once you get the windows taped off and you uh, clear the windows of the paint with the with the xylol or the acetone you can then spray paint the windows with a, uh, a Lexan compatible clear or you can use some spray that is uh, window tint like a candy uh, quality paint for uh, window tint and that will give the windows uh, a tinted look which is more a little more realistic once you've completed the project so what I'm going to do now is go and proceed to do the next set of windows and uh, have you see the result once it's completed once all the windows have been completed as you're taping off the windows, you want to be on the top edge of the window. And that is right on that top, not the bottom. You'll see uh, on this completed window here, there's a little ledge there. And you want your tape to be along that upper ledge. And the purpose of that is, once you finish it, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it has a, the proper look of an inset window, like, a, like a, a real vehicle. So that's your uh, tape. This is half inch tape. And I'm now going to switch to full one inch tape to finish I'll tape off this section and then I'll be ready to apply the acetone. And then here I have right here some xylol and some acetone. Acetone's faster. It will cut through the paint. There's actually uh, several layers of paint there. There's the silver there's a white for whatever reason and there is the green and uh, so all three of those layers of paint have to be removed back to the plastic which is the Lexan body itself and then as you can see there's some uh, fogging effect on the glass or on the Lexan that's caused by the acetone etching uh, the plastic a little bit and that will clear up if you wish to spray that with some clear or in our case we're going to be spraying this 
and this is the spastic spray and we're it's called candy 15709 candy shadow black window tint and that's what we're going to be spraying the windows once all of them are taped off and the paint is removed so let's get to the next phase okay now you can see the inside uh, of the shell has been properly masked and there's no sanding required here you're just going to take a small paper towel and get a little bit of um, acetone on it and just start gently rubbing and the acetone will cut right through and I'm going to try to show this with one hand and uh, just to show a little bit Okay, I have acetone on a paper towel and it's starting to evaporate and you want to be careful because you get it anywhere it will actually damage the paint so you can start wiping and you can see that the acetone will start softening the paint and it will take all that paint off and you just want to stay gently in your masked area. You can see the paint coming off. So that's how we're going to do it until we get all the windows cleared. So now you can see the paint has been removed. And you can see there's a little fogging around the edges. I followed up with a little xylol and that cleans it even more. And then we'll remove the masking tape come right back. Now you can see that the tape has been removed and there is a little bit of tape residue around the edges but overall the window has been cleared and then the outside you can see that the window is starting to have a clear look but again we're gonna spray those windows with clear and try to reduce some of that fog effect but you just work your way around I'm going to tape off this side over here do this side next and then do the main window last so this is it are. this is the end of it as far as the solvent is concerned this is the windshield and the windshield has been cleared and you can see the fog effect on the windshield and what I discovered was is that you could use your acetone and then you could follow it up with the xylol which is right there and that xylol would actually uh, make it a little bit clearer than the uh, acetone but you're still gonna have to spray it with clears and let's remove the mask and that's pretty straightforward here I believe hard to do one-handed but you can see I'm able to remove the mask so now we have the mask removed and you can see we have clear windows we now have a body that has relatively clear windows at this point they're a little foggy looking but we're going to see what the spray tint does once we spray that on so let's proceed with the next point so the tent was sprayed this is it says it's tent candy shadow window tent it's not very tinted it was had a lot of, of pigment in it and it just sprayed black so fast I'm very unhappy with it but what the result is is that the windows are very blacked out I was I didn't really want them to be 
fully blacked out but as you can see the gloss and then I've got a light bulb here to try to show what it might look like during the day as you can see it windows are clear but I'm not very happy with this paint job uh, because it's not really tinted like I wanted it but you know it's not bad it might actually look really good during the daytime so uh, anyway that's the finished you can see the clear through it a little bit but I had to be real careful I, it just seemed like it was spraying so much darkness on it the windows were tinted very fast and they're not even they got a little bit blotchy because there's so much pigment coming out of that paint uh, the good news is I could tape it off and and remove it and just spray clear but I'm just gonna stick with this it's fine I think see what it looks like during the day anyway that's a that's the finished uh, Red Cat Everest Gen 7 Pro now with real tinted windows thanks for watching